All right, boys, what's happening? Welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video, uh, another video on zombies, as you can see. And today we are going to unlock the Plague Diamond Camo for the knife and, of course, the M79 China Lake, or, well, not the China Lake, the Thumper, as it is called. Uh, I always just call this weapon the China Lake. Um, you know, I just, it reminds me of it, but, of course, it is the Thumper. Um, I've literally got to get, like, 20 more kills, and then I've unlocked Gold Camo. Uh, we've already got Gold Camo for the knife, so all we need to do is get 20 kills consecutively without getting hit. Now, that um, description for the camo is a bit misleading. Because obviously it says without getting hit. So I just thought that meant like zombies. But it means splash damage as well. You can't take any damage. It's not just getting hit by the zombies. So obviously we're trying to keep our distance, social distance from the zombies. As if there's a pandemic. Um, which of course there is. But um, yeah, so look, see this zombie's proper close to us now. So we need to try and leg it away uh, and get this kill. I'm not sure how many more kills I've got left. But I'm pretty sure uh, I've only got one more challenge left with this gun. Uh, you can see we've not left the starting room like literally i'm just trying to get this challenge done so i can never use this weapon again because this weapon is just terrible like it actually is proper terrible um i got around 51 last night which is my new record on solo got around 51 just using this gun and the spaz 12 but pretty much just this gun trying to level it up and do all the camos but there seems to be like a glitch or something to do with a uh, zombie weapon level xp because uh, like obviously they brought out double xp with nuketown and stuff double weapon xp and then for a moment, there was like a glitch where it felt like the zombies' weapon levels was like four times XP, never mind double. Like the first game I used this, China Lake, uh, or the Thumper, sorry. First game I used it, I got it from level 1 to level 20 in one game. Um, so obviously, I was like, that's a bit mad. But then last night, I got around 51, uh, and I only got it up from level 20 to level 28. Yeah, obviously, they have reverted the glitch um, to what it was intended to be, the, the weapon XP for zombies. But it feels so, so slow compared to even before the patch. So I feel like they might have nerfed it. I'm not too sure. There's a lot of videos out everywhere of people looking at the stats and stuff like that. I got to about round 30 odd and then it just wasn't going up. You know, you can check your creator class like that. And you can see the weapon uh, like XP bar there. And it just wasn't going up at all. So I didn't know what was happening there. Um, so obviously there must have been a glitch. But I'm going to activate this ring of fire in a sec. Destroy this wave of zombies here. Hopefully we don't get uh, any splash damage while I'm doing the ring of fire. Because of course once you get tier 3 ring of fire. Uh, and you shoot your gun while you're standing in the ring. It takes it out. It takes the bullet sorry out of your uh, stock ammo and not your mag. So I can literally just spray like a full auto grenade launcher. Um, which is a massive um, like thing to use this weapon with. Because if you don't do that. If you don't have ring of fire this weapon is pretty dead. When you pack punch this weapon though. It does give you 3 bullets in the mag. Or three grenades in the mag, sorry. So it's not all bad. But, um, yeah, it's still a very terrible weapon. Oh, there we go, boys. We've unlocked diamond camo. <laughs> there we go. Obviously, with the knife, the knife is on its own in the melee category. So to get it diamond, you need to get the knife gold and this M79 gold. And there we have it, boys. We have completed the diamond specials, the melee weapon, and the M79. We are just going to kill ourselves now, and then we're going to check out the Plague Diamond camo and what it looks like on these weapons and get into some multiplayer gameplay. All right, boys, here we have it. We just jumped into a little private match there. Look at that. It actually looks proper nice in game, you know, this uh, Plague Diamond camo. I actually am a big fan. Like, when you just look at it in your creator class, it doesn't look that nice. Let's check out the launcher. Yeah, that looks... It looks fucking sexy in game, you know, I'm not even messing. It's like a royal purple colour. Our purple is really my favourite colour as well. Um, dating back to the Saints Row 3 days. I just fell in love with that colour there. But like in your creator class it looks proper like fake and toyish and bright. But in game it actually looks so nice. Now we are going to jump into some gameplay with it. On it. Oh my god it actually looks so heavy. You know I'm not even messing. Um, just seeing it with my own eyes in game. It looks so so nice. But uh, yeah. So let's jump into some multiplayer gameplay. See if we can pick up any kills. Uh, probably all going to be with the knife and none with the China Lake. But it is what it is. Alright boys, here we go. We're in a game now in Armada. Domination. Let's go and try and ching man up. Let's go and run the ops down. We see a guy there. Let's go already. <laughs> Let's go. We're getting chingy. See an op right there and get chingy. Like Digger D said. <laughs> Obviously we are working towards the regular multiplayer camos with the knife as well. Um, but there's no point in getting that gold camo when we've got Plague Diamond as the... Look at that, we're on a two kill streak. Oh, we were definitely behind that door there, you know. I swear there's some desync issues on this game. Because I was 100% behind that door. <laughs> Let's see if we can go and get any explosion kills. We see our man right there. 
Oh shit, he was on a zip line and only thing is with this channel lake is that you do really need to run uh, danger close if you're using it on multiplayer. Like you literally get no ammo as you can see there. You get two bullets in it. And it just doesn't kill people who have flak jackets on, as you can see right there. It's a two-hit kill, uh, or maybe even three with people with flak jacket, depending on where you're with them. It's an actual joke, the uh, flak jacket perk on this game. Because literally, you can hit someone point blank, like I was playing Nuketown before. You can hit someone point blank, and it won't kill them. So, it's a bit of a, a terrible weapon. You know, again, they point blank range, bullet straight into him, and you can see his health bottom left. So, yeah, it goes down to about five HP. So, I do not recommend using the China Lake at all. Um... But let's try and whip out the chingy again. Try and get some chings in. See up right there and get chingy, chingy, chingy. <laughs> oh, this nice boss, you know. <laughs> I think there's some ops up here. See up right there and get chingy, chingy, chingy. My gun them with me, my gun them fimmy. Give me my fingy and let me get flingy. See up right there and get chingy, chingy, chingy. Wow, that kid had diamond snipers there who we've just killed. But uh, obviously working towards those <laughs> multiplayer things again. We'll get that uh, execution and finishing move before his teammates are kill us. Getting absolutely pinged by a sniper. Yeah, boys, the knife is actually proper fun to use on multiplayer. Like, obviously, me and me mates, we do this game mode called Snipers and Chingies. Where we go into S&D and just use a sniper and a knife. Um, and it is proper fun to use, like I say. You can just leg it around like an absolute madman. Um, as long as you get the right class on, you know. Throw a ninja. Uh, and just get in the enemy spawn. And oh, we've been quick scoped. But um, those diamond snipers look gorgeous. The diamond, the regular multiplayer diamond camo this year reminds me of um, Black Ops 2, which is my favourite COD, uh, favourite camo as well. That diamond camo on Black Ops 2 was sexy. Um, but yeah, so like I'm saying, the knife is proper fun to use on multiplayer, you know. But as for that China leak, the M79 launcher. You know, I do not recommend this weapon to absolutely anyone, you know. Um, it's going to be a grind for people getting this levelled up uh, in multiplayer if you're going for Dark Matter. Obviously, we're going for the Dark Aether camo. Uh, I think Dark Aether just looks a slight bit better than um, Dark Matter, which is why we're going for that instead of Dark Matter. We might even try and get them both if we do get bored. But right now, uh, that is stage one complete in the quest for Dark Aether camo, boys. Uh, hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash like on it. Uh, and subscribe if you are new and i'll catch you in the next video boys take it easy